Hey everyone, thought I'd come out here and make this video before it gets too late. I want you guys to see this and uh, know what's really going on in my mind today. I've been a little, you know, frustrated, but mostly trying to figure out this YouTube thing. You know, I've been doing it for so long and the number one thing that I've always known, or I've always thought that makes a good channel is consistency. Um, whether that's once a week, once a day, you know, being consistent, uh, knowing Ian made a good point, you know, all his favorite YouTubers, he knows when they're going to upload. And for me too, for the most part, um, the gaming channels that I watch are every day, they're daily videos. They come out with one and I was like, you know what, but that's a team. And he was like, oh, that's just an excuse. And it's, I get it. Yeah, it is an excuse. Um, you know, I just gotta, I just gotta do it. Um, and that's what these videos are. I, I tell myself that I, I just need to do things, you know, and me putting myself out there, like, I'm not, I'm not like, Oh, what, why did I take these days off? Like there was momentum. There's no momentum. Like, I'm just going to be honest. There's no momentum with me doing daily videos right now. I do them because I want to, and I want these videos for, for you guys, the people that watch these videos, I make videos for you, you know, and the few people that, co that come and go watching these channel, watching this channel, uh, because for the most part, really, like, I feel like these videos with how social media is, if you don't know me or haven't seen any of my content before, I don't know how likely you are to sit down and just watch these daily phone vlogs, really. And Ian made a good point. He's like, well, make high, high quality videos with lots of B-roll. And I think he's right. I'm not going to say he's wrong. He's right. And... I, I just don't know where, when I'm going to because I'm in this problem now that I really enjoy making these videos and it makes me feel good. It, it's actually helped me a lot making these videos and like this journal type, you know? Um, I just don't know. I need to get better with my thumbnails. I don't do anything. I don't put a thumbnail. I don't really put a description at all whatsoever. I don't put any tags or anything. And I'm just making these videos just for the people that watch them. You know, it's 20 to 30 uh, people watch them. And you know, uh, one thing I say like, hey guys, just watch one of my playlists and put it on mute. And no one's done it. So it's made me think like, I'm not worth, I'm not giving you guys enough for you guys to be like, you know what? I want to give back. You know what? I I should watch one of his playlists on mute. You know, like he's a cool guy. I like his content. I should do that for him. And I'm not like, I'm literally just sharing. I don't, I'm not trying to come out here and be like, you are so, <laughs> I'm not trying to yell at you guys. It's just, it's made me realize like, I don't get views. So my videos must suck. You know that like, for the masses, you know, it, it, you guys come back consistently. I get like 20 to 30 viewers and it's like the same people. You guys come back consistently. So it's for a reason. I mean, you like my content on some level, which I really appreciate. And that's why I make these videos, you know? And Ian just said, you gotta do it. You got, if you say that you're doing daily videos, make them. And if you want more, if you want newer subscribers, which, I, I already explained like the people coming back are just the people who already know me who already have kind of a, a sense for who I am you know and if I want new people that don't know who I am I need to create these videos with a lot of b-roll getting people's attention keeping it and getting them to come back and I'm trying to figure out what that is for me because I want to be authentic. I guess this is gonna be a longer video as long as my uh, my video might cut out once, I don't know, my, my storage reaches capacity, but I think it's gonna be a long video today because there's a lot I wanna say. 
I think. You know, I've been figuring out who I am and, or who I was, you know, with who I was purely for the reason of doing things for myself. When I was in high school, I felt a change in me with people bullying me. In middle school, people bullied me. I was, oh man, elementary school and middle school, people bullied the heck out of me. Even though I was like the tall guy, I don't know, I just, I just didn't care. So a lot of people thought I was weird and made fun of me a lot. And I, I really didn't care uh, until like I did, you know, like there was a point I was just like, bro, why can't I keep a friend? You know, like people just think I'm weird so that like the people won't even give me a chance to like actually get to know me. And in middle school, I made a few, I actually made like one of my longest time friends in middle school and like we're still friends. It's been a long time now. But in like high school, I felt like a shift in me where I was trying to make as many friends, you know, and try to talk to as many people as I could, which I did it for the purpose of being social and learning social skills and getting better with, you know, getting to know people and having fun, which I don't regret at all. It was a lot of fun. Um, and then going to like senior year in high school, I kind of went back and I was like, this isn't for me. You know, I, I had a lot of friends, but not really i didn't have time for my close friend that i made in middle school like we were we like i don't know i stopped hanging out with him because i i was like hanging out with so many different people and that's just high school you know you live and you learn and now i have a few friends i have a few close friends <clears throat> i would say a ha less than a handful or like yeah like less than a handful of friends close friends and i'm okay with it but the thing is I was in, you know, my last relationship for a good while and with everything that happened in 2020, you guys know the lockdown and all that stuff, I just kind of lost myself where I wasn't really doing anything and there was no like improvement because there was just nothing to do just for myself there, <clears throat> not even like I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I mean, you guys, you guys know, some of you guys know, where I just didn't do anything. And I kind of feel like ending the video, but I want to keep talking. So I, what I'm trying to say here is now I'm doing things for myself and <clears throat> letting myself be free because it's, it's easy to feel judged when you think that people are judging you when people don't really care and if they do then they really just are focused on other people rather than themselves and i appreciate ian ian and i like i don't know through text we miscommunicate a lot he thinks that i'm angry sometimes and and um i think that he's angry sometimes and sometimes we are sometimes we're not but there's a there's definitely a lot of miscommunication and it's good that he tells me these things because I tell him, you know, I, I'm up front with him. And right now I'm at 2,500 watch hours and I've been at that, you know. I, I was at 2,520 watch hours like last two months ago. And now I'm seven watch hours in. And I was thinking of making these videos about Malaysia just to get watch hours. And... I feel like it's fake. I feel like it's fake of me to make these videos that I, I don't really care for. And it's hard for me to care for anything besides these daily vlogs. So I'm not saying that Ian's forcing me. Like I, I'm my my whole point like is if I want if I truly want YouTube, you know, to be what I want it to be with partnered and making videos high quality videos then i need to make them but i'm trying to figure out if that's what i want and it's hard it's hard to know what i want because i don't i haven't had it yet you know i've always had the opinion that i want to make money on youtube and be partnered and make uh, like take a lot of time and put a lot of effort into these videos um 
so I'm going to, but it's just a matter of when and motivation is not a good sign for a goal because the motivation goes away. It's about having discipline. If you truly want something, you need to have the discipline for it, even when you're not motivated because it's just like a relationship, you know, you're not always going to be in that honeymoon loving phase, which some people are, you know, that's like fairy tale like love story that sometimes you know it happens to people forever and, and most of the time it doesn't and that's okay because a true a real friendship a real relationship whether it's with your family your friend or uh, a partner you have to make a conscious decision every day just like with a goal you have to make a conscious decision every day that you're gonna fight for it that you're gonna go for it and I don't think that I'm going for it on YouTube and I need to step it up if I if I want to. Hell, one of the main reasons why I do these daily videos with no edits is because I say things like this that really <laughs> opens my mind, uh, really opens my mind because I didn't think that I wanted it. And right now I just told myself I do want it and I need to step it up. If it's what I truly want, there's no reason to not do it. And I have some friends on uh, Instagram. Uh, I have an Instagram and I, I don't know, I don't really, I scroll a lot on reels, I'm gonna be honest. But the people, you know, that I interact with, like my followers and like the friends that I know from school, from high school and stuff, uh, from childhood, from growing up, I see a constant you know, barrage, not barrage, but a constant um, cycle of depression in guys. I can't speak about the girls. I don't really have uh, many friends who are girls, but um, they don't really post these kinds of things. You know, a few of them post because they're like emo and goth baddies, you know, like they, they put they put themselves as emo goth baddies, like uh, these few girls that I know from high school, that's their like thing. And they post a lot of memes and stuff like that. Um, but these guys, you know, that I'm friends with and I message them, I send them memes, you know, because I'm friends with them. And a lot of them are like, man, I'm, I don't know where I am in life. And some of these people are successful. I would say successful, you know? They're they're fit. They're physically fit. They're making money. They they have, you know, they have a job. Some of them have are in a relationship, some of them aren't. Some of them have kids, some of them don't. And I I think this is a kind of therapy for me on these videos sharing my life with you guys. Because I did think about like the 20 views and I'm like, I want more. I'm not money hungry because I'm not even partnered. So like these views wouldn't matter. I just, I'm not basing my value on them, you know, on that aspect. Like partnership, I want, I need watch hours. But like on a true sense of here making these videos, I just want to have a bigger impact so I'm trying to figure out how I can do that and how I can actually provide the value that you guys would appreciate. And I know some of you guys do. So that's why I keep making them because there, there has to be a point to this. If there isn't, then there isn't. But today, at least you guys get some like cinematic, like <laughs> it's nice and orange and stuff. And life is good, man. It's good. It's great, actually. I've been... It's pretty interesting that... I don't know what it is, but on... Like, if I'm watching a movie or a TV show or something like that, I get really emotional really easily. I don't know. Some people call it the, an empath. Oh, you're an empath. Oh, oh you're an empath. <laughs> um, I don't know what to call it. I just think that, like, I have a... I can cry on command like I can actually cry on command and sometimes watching these shows like I do it instinctually if someone cries I'm literally crying I start tearing up I'm... 
like I, I don't feel sad or anything. It's just like, I don't know. I see someone crying and I cry too. <laughs> it's pretty funny. It just caught me by surprise right now. I don't know why I was thinking that. Oh, yeah. I was talking to someone while watching a movie, and in the movie they started crying. <laughs> you see this? Oh man. Uh, I've been going to the gym, uh, like every other day. I went yesterday and I did a uh, bench press. I never do bench press because I feel like I need to have a spotter, you know, because <laughs> on a machine, it's way easier or like dumbbells. If I need to bail on something, you know, bail on some weight and just like drop it, I'll drop it. But on a bench press, you know, it's a lot, e it's a lot easier to get caught and like for it to hit your chest or like choke you out. And I don't think I I'm not sure. It's not that I don't think that I'm doing it right or that, that I'm doing it wrong. But I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. I think I am. Because my arms and chest were like blown. They, I, I don't know. I'm going to be doing bench press a lot more. I do need to get my, uh, my legs stronger. Um, I mean, my, my legs actually are really strong. But I just mean physically, uh, aesthetically bigger. I need to more hypertrophy. And I want my muscles in my legs to like grow. Because my legs, for my proportion, they're pretty small. And I've told Ian, like, this is why I stopped wearing pants. Because I would, I felt when I got, like, more muscular. Dude, my legs, they're strong. <laughs> they just don't look it. My calves are, like, tiny. When I was in Thailand doing Muay Thai, bro, I felt like my legs were, like, the tiniest there. It, <laughs> but they're strong. So, I mean... I, I think it's just genetics. I think it's just genetics in my family. We have like really thin legs or I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I, I have been doing like squats once in a while and I do need to get it. Like if I really want my legs to grow, I need to do more. <sighs> and I haven't been studying Japanese, man. I told myself, you know, uh, I'm going to study Japanese so I can move. I'll tell you guys something. So I can go to Japan and travel more, you know, and next time it'll be a lot more fun. And, you know, for those of you guys who are still here, comment down, go. Comment down below, go, and let me know. I'll, I'll definitely uh, be checking the comments. If any of you guys are still here, comment down below, go, and I'll know you made it this far. Um... My dream right now is essentially next year to go to Japan and live there for a year. Because life is too short. I, I think about it all the time. You guys already know this. I think life is beautiful, man. You know, I'm, I'm gonna share something. I personally have not dealt with a lot of, I haven't really dealt with loss in my family for the most part with anyone super close to me I, I, my, I and my cousin who's my age we were he's my favorite cousin uh, rest in peace Jason Jason I would consider him my be uh, like my best cousin you know he was we were really close and we had the same birthday actually we grew up together you know he was a great great guy and he passed away. That's the closest that I've gotten. And my aunt, you know, I wasn't really too close to her, but I loved her. Um, my cousin, he's the closest. And I can't imagine losing someone that I lived with, you know, like my, my, my immediate family here. Um, or one of my close friends, one of my best friends, the few that I have. And Ian's lost family members. And so many other people, you know, watching, you guys watching, the viewers, you guys have probably lost someone. And that drives me because I'm scared. I'm scared of so many things. But the thing is, I still do things, you know. I go to the movies by myself. I, I do things by myself because I like it and I love life. And I don't, 
even though I'm scared, you know, of something that might happen or whatever, I still do them because I know that it's worth it. Life is worth living. And I was extremely in a new setting, traveling by myself when I did. And there were a lot of people from other countries who were finally, I'm not gonna say where they were from and stuff, but they were finally experiencing some peace because where they're from, they don't experience that at all. All they experience is fear. And then they were traveling in, you know, Malaysia and Thailand and stuff. And <laughs> they were finally like, some of these people that I spoke to, they're like, yeah, this is actually, I can like breathe and sleep happily. And, it, and people from here in America, you know, in the US, the United States, they go to these places or they don't thinking that it's so dangerous and stuff like that. And there's danger everywhere, you know, here in California, our crime stats and everything like that is just there's crime everywhere and there's there's bad things everywhere but there's so much good too that you can't get jaded we can't get jaded man we can't just hate the world and hate ourselves because then what if you think that there's something after you know after life like after after you die like if you think that there is something or that there that there isn't why would you want what there is here to be, you know, miserable for yourself and others? I see so many stories of people who have lost, you know, close relatives and loved ones and they want others to never feel that. So they share, they share goodness with the world. And that's what I think we're meant to do. Because when I went to uh, went to Jot or Yucca Valley in the middle of the desert a few days ago, I was looking up at the stars. The stars were insane. I made a wish on a falling star. But the stars made me realize I was like, I haven't seen the stars like this in such a long time. And you know, we're just a speck. But there's so much good here on earth with 8 billion people, over 8 billion now, I think. Over 8 billion people, it's getting windy now. <laughs> over 8 billion people that live here and how can we not make some good happen, you know, every day, just little by little, and it makes an impact. It does make an impact. <sighs> you make an impact on someone's life every day. I tell myself because I'm here for myself, for my future family, and my future friends. Here you guys are. I don't know. Maybe you guys might be watching this in five years, or ten years, twenty years, thirty years, a hundred years, a thousand years, a billion years. You're watching this and being like, "Wow, this little guy knew knew what was up." He only has 827 subscribers and only has 2,527 watch hours. Wow, look at this guy. He's a little philosopher with his little mind. Look at him. Look at his little Bangkok hat. <sighs> I really needed this. So thank you guys for listening. It was really insightful for me. And I hope that it was insightful for you. Every time I make these videos, I consider you guys a friend. Like we're just catching up. So thank you for listening, friend. I will see you tomorrow because I make daily videos and I wanna be there for you just as you are there for me. So if you have any questions or want me to talk about anything, leave a comment down below about what's on your mind or what is something that you've been going through recently. Maybe we can talk about it. And I can let you uh, chill out and watch.
watch this for the next however long I can uh, record for. If you guys want some just relaxing footage to watch, watch this. So I'll see you guys later. Please subscribe. I will see you.